memory items for Airbus A320 Traffic Collision Avoidance System TCAS. You may find the core of the memory items in the Flight Crew Operational Manual, FCOM, Section Abnormal and Emergency Procedures, Survival Section, TCAS, Warnings. For more expandable information, you may refer to Flight Crew Techniques Manual, FCTM, Aircraft Systems, Traffic Collision Avoidance System, TCAS. These days, within A320 fleets, you may deal with two types of TCAS systems. The older one is without autopilot, flight director TCAS and the newer one with a P, FD TCAS. Regardless of the system type, there are four levels of warning. 1. No threat traffic or others, only displayed on the navigation display, ND no oral warning. 2. Proximate traffic, only displayed on the navigation display, ND, no oral warning. 3. Traffic advisory, TA, displayed on the navigation display, ND, and with simultaneous oral warning, traffic, traffic. 4. Resolution advisory, RA, displayed on the navigation display, ND, and with simultaneous oral collision threat warning either preventive or corrective. The TCAS may generate an resolution advisory, RA, without a previous traffic advisory, TA, in some dynamic situation. This situation is linked to a rapid change in the intruder detection category. Airbus recommends controlling the vertical speed to comply with the vertical speed limitations during the last 2,000 feet of a climb or descent to 1,500 feet per minute. Aircraft, no autopilot, flight director TCAS equipped, no autopilot, autothrust traffic collision avoidance system procedure. If a traffic advisory, TA, is generated, the pilot flying, PF, announces, TCAS, I have control, he should initiate no evasive maneuver, only based on a, TA. If a resolution advisory, RA, is generated, the flight crew must always follow the TCAS, RA, orders in the correct direction, even if, 1, the TCAS, RA, orders are in contradiction with the ATC instructions. 2. At the maximum ceiling altitude. 3. It results in crossing the altitude of the intruder. Aircraft no autopilot, flight directors TCAS equipped. The pilot flying, PF, disconnects the autopilot, AP, and smoothly and firmly follows the vertical speed indicator. VSI, green sector within 5 seconds and requests that both flight directors, FD, be disconnected. The pilot monitoring, PM, disconnects both flight directors but will not try to see intruders. The, PF, will avoid extreme maneuvers and keep the vertical speed, VS, outside the red area of the, VSI, and within the green area. The PF must use the whole speed range between V alpha max and V max if necessary. The PM must notify ATC. The flight crew should never maneuver in the opposite direction of the RA because TCAS maneuvers are coordinated. In the final approach, whenever climb, climb now, increase climb appears, the flight crew will initiate a go-around. When clear of conflict, the flight crew must resume standard navigation, following ATC clearance, and use the AP, as required. When the autopilot, flight directors, TCAS mode is available, the flight crew should use the autopilot, flight directors, TCAS mode. If the autopilot, flight directors, TCAS mode is unavailable. The flight crew must apply the TCAS procedure, aircraft no autopilot, 
flight directors, TCAS equipped. If a TA is generated, the PF announces TCAS blue. If the auto thrust is off, the PF should request the PM to set it on. The PF must not initiate an evasive maneuver, only based on a TA. When RA is triggered, if the autopilot is engaged, the PF should keep it on. The autopilot guides the aircraft following the RA orders. If the autopilot is not engaged, the PF smoothly and firmly flies the flight director pitch bar. The flight director's orders guide the aircraft following the RA orders. The PF can ask the PM to engage the autopilot. Suppose, for any reason, during an RA, the aircraft does not reach the green area of the vertical speed scale. In that case, the pilot flying should disconnect the autopilot and override the flight director's orders to lead the aircraft out of the red area of the vertical speed scale. The pilot flying must use the entire speed range between V alpha max and V max if necessary. If any climb oral alert sounds during the final approach, the flight crew should first apply the autopilot flight directors TCAS procedure. When clear of conflict, they can consider a go around depending on the situation. When clear of conflict, the autopilot, flight directors, TCAS mode automatically reverts to vertical speed, to capture the, FCU, selected altitude. In some cases, the autopilot, flight directors, TCAS mode may revert to an altitude acquire mode or an altitude hold mode. The pilot flying engages an appropriate vertical mode or adjusts the vertical speed target according to ATC clearance. Memory items memorizing. Aircraft with no autopilot, flight directors TCAS procedure. Traffic advisory, TA. Traffic, traffic, messages, TCAS, I have control, call out. Resolution Advisory, RA, AP, if engaged, off, both flight directors, off, ATC, notify. When on final approach and, climb, increase climb, is triggered, go around perform. When, clear of conflict, resume normal navigation. Memory items memorizing. Aircraft equipped by Autopilot Flight Directors TCAS Procedure Traffic Advisory, TA Traffic, Messages, TCAS Blue, Call Out If Auto Thrust is Off, Set On If Autopilot is Off, Set On If TCAS is Not Blue, Apply ACFT No Autopilot, Flight Directors Procedure Resolution Advisory, RA. If autopilot is off, flight director's order follow manually. If autopilot is on, TCAS mode properly follows the RA orders monitor. When on final approach and any climb oral alert is triggered, TCAS mode orders monitor follow go around consider. When, clear of conflict, resume normal navigation. Wish you never need this procedure anywhere else than at the simulator lesson.